Acts 5 verse 7. The danger of not maintaining your salvation. When you want to maintain your salvation, God will give you a chance to repent. In every action you do, you won't just find yourself doing. There will be an opportunity for you to change your stand and maintain your salvation. There is a punishment that comes when you take your salvation so light. Your salvation is a position that God gives you with him. The moment when you have salvation is a fellowship that has been established by God for you to come together. It is easy when you are pressed or challenged that you can forget that you have salvation. Philippians 2 from verse 12 this is the time where we need to avoid. You work out your salvation with fear. You can be a Christian in the presence, in the church, but not outside there. I've got many people that I know who are here today. You are Christian here now. The Bible they are opening, you are opening it here. But you don't open it at all much more in my absence. Much more. In fact, whatever you are doing here, do it more when you are home. We had two hours something, pray, intercession. Do it more when there is no church. It's then you will maintain your salvation. The reasons why many people are falling is because they seek God for something. The moment when you start to seek God for bread and you don't know why God is not giving you that bread, you're a failure. Because sometimes even your leg works for the best out of you. If we reach a level where we don't maintain our salvation, we will always search for solutions because of our challenges. You need to focus on your salvation. Maintain it. If you maintain it, you'll be a light. Don't allow the contaminated world to contaminate you. If God won't allow your challenge to be your challenge, you won't be what God wants you to be. Your salvation is so important that it needs to be maintained because you are in a journey of becoming what God wants you to be. Luke 16, verse 27 to 31. The scriptures are there to make us to maintain our salvation. This is the time to change now. You have enough evidence that can make you to maintain your salvation. How many of you today, you can tell yourself, I need to stand my grounds as a child of God? I'm not surprised. One day you'll be surprised people who are preachers and Christians who are coming to church in hell. It's possible. Because if now we have the Bibles and still failing to maintain our salvation, what are we doing? He who maintain his salvation is the one that says, I will seek God every day. Psalm 51 verse 12. There is joy of salvation. Salvation is not all about coming to church. There is a joy of salvation. If you don't have that joy of salvation, this is your prayer, Lord, restore to me a joy of salvation. And give me a willing spirit. What is the willing spirit? It's a spirit that even when it's tough to do, you do. Because of the joy that is in you. Ask God for willingness. Ask God to sustain you. Because whatever that is coming to you, devil wants to stop you from not seeking God. The book of Genesis 19. Go ahead and read from verse 15 to 26. If we don't maintain our salvation, we will fail. One of the reasons why we need to maintain our salvation is because of how God saved us. Your salvation has come because of someone's prayer. I'm sure you understand that. Someone might have prayed and you don't know. 
Because it's so difficult to maintain your salvation. It also needs someone to do what? To pray. I will tell you who have to pray now. Someone pray for you to be saved. But on the road, we don't need somebody to pray. Yourself must pray. You must be able to maintain your own salvation. God can still, after he saved us with the mighty hand, because of disobedience, allow us to be destroyed. We must be very, very careful if we don't maintain our salvation. If you want to maintain your salvation, you must follow the instructions. You were saved by someone's prayer, but save yourself by following instructions. When you maintain your salvation, you see the importance of your life. If your life is very, very important, you will focus on your salvation. If now you are focusing on the things of the, of the world, you can lose your life. Look, 17 verse 32 to 37. If we don't maintain our own salvation, we are in danger. I'm thinking about in the house, you are watching TV. When you are still watching TV, another one, boom. Another one, you are still, you are still carrying on with the story of TV. You are watching your story of TV. When you look, you find another one was taken. When you see, you, you find the clothes he was wearing there here. You begin to remember now that you were not maintaining what? Your salvation. You are ready to be left behind. If you don't work out your salvation with fear, you are still thinking about, I want to have money. How can I get this? Or how can I do this? You can be left behind. This is the time that you must take care of yourself. Remember the wife of Lot. Remember the wife of Lot. Deuteronomy 9, verse 12. When God allows you to be saved, it's because of his purpose. If you believe, say amen. amen. There is something that God wants to do with you. You are not just a Christian, just a Christian. You are a Christian because of God's assignment. There is something that God wants to do. If you believe, say amen. Luke 9, verse 18. Don't pray because you want something. Don't pray because you want Pray because you need fellowship with him. You know, if you have got a friend you love most, you will talk with him the more. If truly God, if we really love God, you will always speak with him. So this is the time that we take our cross out daily. We must know that there are things that are coming our way to make us to forget that it's God who saved us what? In power. He saved us with power. We must not play with that power.